Hello guys, Textureman is back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create automotive visualization in Keyshot. I will show you step by step process how to create camera and lightning and how to edit final renders in Photoshop to achieve realistic results. But before we start, I'm just going to mention you can download 3D model and 3D files from my Patreon. Link is in the description. And if you like automotive renders like me, hit the subscribe button as well. So this is how it looks in the key shot. This is like the basic camera setup and basic environment setup. When you open the key shot, this environment is like the basic HDRI map. And this car paint on the car is like the basic silver metallic. When you type in the search bar silver metallic, this is the material. And on, the, on these rims is like the basic paint gloss with a little bit of roughness. So pretty easy setup and now we need to create our own custom camera and environment to achieve realistic results. So let's start working on this camera. I'm going to the camera tab, add new camera. I'm going to change the name to main camera. I'm also going to change this focal length to get image or render a little bit more interesting. So maybe like this. I'm going to use 45 millimeter, which is the most common for automotive photography. And I'm going to use this grid mode, the quarters, so I can make sure this car is in the middle of the frame. So something to like this. I'm going to use 350 distance and I'm going to use these sliders to match reference image. So something to like this. And also I'm going to change this value here. All right, this is good. I'm going to turn off this grid. I'm going to save the camera and look the camera position. So now when I need to rotate around the car, I need to click on the free camera. And if I want to go back to my camera view, I just click on the main camera and the position is saved. That's pretty handy. So. Let's set up the environment, add new environment. I'm going to change name to main environment. Now I'm, I need to go to the settings. I need color background, completely white. You can use red or blue, whatever you like. I'm going just for simple white background. I need to turn on this ground shadow, occlusion ground shadow and flattened ground. Now this is like the basic setup and we need to go to the HDRI editor and now we are going to edit this HDRI map right here. So I need highest resolution and I need completely black HDRI map so there is no light in the scene and now I can create my own custom lightning. So I'm going to click on this button which is add pin. I need rectangular design. I need to make this light bigger something to like this. I need just half of the size and I need to turn off this fall off. So one, one side of the light got soft edges and other side got the hard edges. I, I'm also going to turn on this rounded corner and I'm going to make this brightness a little bit bigger, maybe like 10. And now I, I'm going to click on this button and when I click on the car, the light um, point at exact part. So if I want to light this part, I'm just clicking on the front of the car. If I want to light up this roof, I'm just clicking on the roof, but I'm going to create something like the sh shoulder line. So something to like this. This is actually really nice. All right. I'm going to use these sliders on the bottom. This is like the left. And this is like the like move the lights to the right side. This is up and down. So I'm going to use this slider to, to match the exact position of the light. So something to like this. And this light need to go like this. This is all right. Maybe a little bit left like this. I'm going to duplicate this light 
and I'm going to move this light a little bit higher, something to like this. And I'm going to make this light bigger. And I'm going to move this light a little bit more to the left. Or maybe to the right, something to like this. And I'm going up with this light. So something to like this. This is really nice. I'm also going to duplicate again this one light. I'm going to move it a little bit like this. I'm trying to light these shoulders light here. So I'm just trying to trying to find something like a really nice spot. All right, maybe like this. I'm going to make this light a little bit more smaller. Also, I'm going to make it a little bit less bright. And I'm going to use again this slider so it's pretty easy. Something to like this. All right. Again, I'm going to duplicate this light. Actually, no, I'm going to create a circular light, so something to like this. And I'm going to use the fall off. And also, I'm going to make it a little bit more bright, something to like this. And I'm going to light this front of the car. So maybe like this. And maybe more to the top. Yeah, this is really nice. Also, I'm going to duplicate this light. And I'm trying to light a little bit more these, these uh, grill. So something like this. And a little bit more down. All right, I'm going to duplicate this light one more time and I'm going to bring this light to this part right here. So to the left a little bit, this is all right and I'm going a little bit up. Yeah, this is really nice lightning. All right, and yeah, maybe I'm going to duplicate this one because this side of the car is a little bit darker. So, yeah, something to like this. And more to the right side and to the up as well. And maybe one light to the bottom. So I'm just going to drag and drag these lights to the bottom. They got a little bit more light on these wheels. Yeah, this is this is really nice. I'm going to click on this button done and I'm going to render this HDRI in full resolution. And this is our first light for the first environment. So this is how it looks for the car. And now we need to create this shadow on the bottom. So let's create brand new environment. So add new environment. We are going to call this environment shadow environment. You already ask yourself why we need two environments. Well, one is for the car itself 
and one will be for the shadow. We can't really create in the key shot strong black shadow without affecting the car. And with this way, we can control the lightning for the car and lightning for the ground and for the shadow. We render two image and this image we combine together in the Photoshop. So it's really easy. We need to create also the ground plane for the shadow. So I'm going to create the art pla uh, plane. I'm going to make this plane much more bigger, something to like this. This is all right. I'm going to double click on this plane and make it as the diffuse and completely white diffuse color like this. I'm going back to my environment. I'm going for the highest resolution. I'm going to make this HDRI completely black so only tail lights is visible. And I'm going to add new pin. I'm going to make this pin really small and really strong. So something to like 1000 or maybe even higher. And now I'm going to move this pin and you can see how it looks. We are really getting this strong shadow on the bottom of the car. And I'm going to use these sliders to achieve exact look. So something to like this and something to like this. This is all right. Yeah, and this is how it looks. It's really nice. I'm going back to my main environment. I'm going to hide this, this plane. So right click on the mouse and the hide path. All right. And we are going to render this image, but we are going to make these uh, final adjustments to, to pop up the contrast. So I'm going to the product image rendering and I'm going to untick this ground illumination because I want this black shadow. Now I'm going to the image tab. I'm going to the, click on this button, add new preset or add new image style. I'm going to use photographic and we can use linear, low contrast or high contrast. I'm going for the low contrast. And I'm going a little bit up with this slider to make a little bit bigger exposure. Something to like this. And I'm going to make this image a little bit more bluish. So we will have a little bit more cool effect, cooler effect. So something to like this. Or maybe actually like this. And I'm going to make this contrast a little bit bigger. So something like this. And this is really, really nice. So I'm going down to denoise and I'm going to make this denoise something like this. And you can see we got really, really uh, clean image without too much samples. And I'm going to check this environment, shadow environment, how it looks. I'm going to make under height part. So our, our plane with shadow is back. Yeah, it looks really good. So I'm going to the, to the back main environment. I'm going to hide this part right here. And I'm going to render these images. So I'm going to the render tab. I'm going for the PNG. And I need higher resolution, something like 4K. I'm going to use clown pad. I need 256 samples, 16 rain bounces, anti-aliasing free, shadow free, global illumination free. These all need to be turned on. And I'm going to click on this button instead of render. So at the qui or at the que. All right. You can see we, we add the job to our rendering. And now I'm going to the shadow environment. I'm going to turn on this plane. I'm going to the render and I'm going to the options and I'm going to check if everything is all right. And I'm going again to make at the que. Now you can see we got two, two process in this, in this tab. When we click on this, it will render first render and second render. So let's render these two images and we are going to combine these two 
renders in Photoshop. All right, guys, so this is how it looks when we finish our render. This first render is all about the lightning of the car. The second render is all about the shadow. And this third render, this is the clown pad. This is for easy selection in the Photoshop. So right now we need to import all of these three renders into the Photoshop, just like this. And this clown pad, we, we can just simply hide this. We need to make sure this nice render is on the bottom and this shadow render is on the top. I'm going to click on this magic wane tool. I'm going to click on this layer. And now I can select easy this background or this shadow, or I can simply turn this on and click on the car or on the windshield. And now I can edit the windshield. But right now I, I just need to make a co um, copy of this shadow. So I'm just going to select this pink background. I'm going back to this layer and I'm just going to make the copy of this layer. I'm going to delete this layer. And now I'm going to use this style. We can use something to like screen or maybe overlay soft light or hard light. I'm going to use the hard light and I'm going to use opacity 60%. I'm going to combine these two layers together. So convert to smart object. I'm going to use the camera raw filter. And we are just going simple edit this render. So I want this render to be a little bit more cooler. So something to like this. I want a little bit more of this exposure. I also need bigger contrast, bigger, hi bigger highlights. I want this shadow to be much more brighter. So I will have more visible wheels and these black parts. So something to like this. Also, this bring a little bit more up and the black make a little bit more dark. I'm going to bump up this texture, clarity, and also this dehaze. All right. I'm going to make this a little bit more bigger. And now you can see what we actually change. So this is the render before. And this is the after, it's just a small change, but you can see it looks much more better. And now I'm going back to this layer. I'm going to click on these car parts. And now I'm going to click on this and add curves. And now we can make the car completely white, or we can make the car a little bit more darker. It's really interesting how it looks, but I'm going to use something to like this to make a little bit more contrast so something to like this and also i'm going to make similar thing on these wheels oops i need curves so i can make it more like the chrome or really really dark and i just need to make a little bit more contrast so something to like this and now you can see how it looks before and after, and also this car paint before and after. All right, guys, these are the final results. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you got any questions, let me know. If you want to support me, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. If you want to download this 3D model, visit my Patreon page, link is in the description. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a nice day and have a nice render. Bye bye.